All right, welcome back. So in this video, our lab actually, we are going to use Multigo. And this is an open source intelligence tool. I uh, played with it a little bit and there are a few things, quite a few things that you can do. Um, for In order for you to use it, you have to have it installed or have a, access to a virtual machine like I do. Uh, then you have to actually go to their site and register. You can see multigo.com for slash c dash registration. Go to the registration, click on the email link. Once you have an account, you can uh, install it and launch the software. You can see it's a Windows virtual machine, so install it there. If you want to install it uh, on your, if you want to uh, like play it uh, every day or quite a few times, you can install it on your system. If you have a virtual machine, that's good. Uh, so first thing first, we have to actually do the login to the license manager here. So let's see. Background change that means that I am in. It's on install transform space. Uh, it's a community edition, so it does not show as much information as uh, I was hoping for. But uh, it's uh, it's interesting, and uh, obviously uh, the with any software there are a lot more you can do than in the first peak that's what uh, I did let's see so in this lab actually what they wanted me to do was that uh, go run a machine like this machine all the machines are here if you go and look at them uh, run machines that pre-built you can see company stacker stalker uh, mean you can get all the email addresses at the domain i tried that but uh, the results are limited to 12 uh, per run so it's not like you can run against a big uh, enterprise and get maybe a thousand email addresses that's not happening with uh, at least this community edition uh the actual lab is about uh, wikipedia uh, wikipedia edits this one was really interesting i ran against mine and it did not find uh, any of my email addresses and my email addresses. Um, so I'm thinking it's not, uh, you have like, uh, it's not the software, it was me that I have to be, it's just like Google search, you have to be, to master it, you really need to know what to put in to get the exact or desired results. But this one was really interesting. Uh, so let's go get done with this lab. It says Wikipedia added. So basically what they want is example.com. Click finish, it will run. And give you <coughs> uh, results uh, in form of graph. That, uh, he, that was the warning message about the 12 uh, results. You can see example.com that uh, uh, the edits in the Wikipedia. So it's searching the Wikipedia, where the edits were, who did and all that. And you can see now it's uh, populating a graph. So at this point, I uh, with this one, I'm really not sure what kind of uh, uh, use it has the, quite honestly it's just uh, I like the, the the email thing so it's just like it's maybe in future labs videos something somewhere I will learn 
and it will have a better understanding what it does and how it does all I know is we ran this query and it's giving us these uh, addresses and that's all but if you go through this this is uh, really interesting stuff you can you can uh, play around with it I did a little bit uh, just uh, here and there so this is it the lab is done uh, we have our addresses all you have to remaining to do is uh, export and print export graph to table I have already on it so I'm not going to do it again I'm gonna just wrap this video here and hopefully see you in the next one